Right now you're breathing in a substance that is classed as hazardous to health. This colourless and odourless gas is something we breathe in all the time at low levels, but when it builds up in an environment where we sleep or live or work, then it can have an impact on us on a day-to-day -day basis. So having a product that can help us easily identify when levels are too high has surely got to be a good thing. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. So this colourless and odourless gas then, CO2, we breathe in and out all the time, every day, and isn't necessarily something we tend to go and think about. But if you work in a room, you know, maybe an office environment that's not well ventilated, or even in your house and you don't have the windows open, then it can build up quite quickly. And the side effects of this aren't necessarily things that you would probably go and think, well, that's too much CO2 in the room that I, I am in. You know, dizziness, headaches, even unconsciousness, uh, you know, at the, the extreme levels. So having a device available to you, um, you know, that you can stick on a wall or stick on a table or something like that, that can highlight to you when things are bad within the, the room that you are so that you can ventilate that room has surely got to be a good thing. Everybody's producing some kind of air quality monitor at the moment and SwitchBot have just gone and launched their Meter Pro, the CO2 monitor, and they've gone and sent one out for me to review on the channel. They've not paid anything for this review, so you get my unbiased opinion on this. Um, you know, they've not even seen the video before you guys are watching this at the moment. So without further ado, let's have a look at what you get in the box. Okay, so typical SwitchBot packaging, usual red and white that you see on all of their products nowadays. Um, inside we've got a whole bunch of leaflets, so you get the usual warranty cards, uh, contact cards for uh, SwitchBot, and then you've got a whole load of uh, multilingual leaflets. Then you've got the main display itself and a USB cable, so this is uh, USB-A to USB-C, it's a flat cable. Uh, similar to the ones that come with their hubs and I'd say it's probably about a meter in length. So as for the main display itself, so on the back uh, you have a mounting hole so if you want to put this on a uh, hook on the wall something like that and then you've uh, alternatively you've got this kick out stand if you uh, want to use that and then we've just got a little flap here for the batteries and it comes pre-installed with two AA batteries. So just take off the screen protector so you can just get a better view of the screen. Um, yeah, really nice and clear LCD display. Um, you know, hopefully this is coming up on the on the video. It's really nice and uh, sharp. The text on this, so you've got uh, you know uh, the the date and time on there. You've got your temperature hu and humidity, and uh, you've got your CO two. Uh, current CO2 levels in the middle of the display. All really good, sharp text uh, being displayed. Um, you know, and you've got the um, red, amber and green for kind of like your um, warning levels for your CO2 on there. So go through that a little bit later on in the video. So in terms of specification then, well, it's uh, roughly a three and a half inch LCD display. Uh, nice and clear. Uh, it's powered by either two AA batteries or USB uh, power. Um, so, you know, if you want to be able to have it portable, take it from room to room, use the AA batteries. If you can have it in a fixed place all the time, use the USB cable. As I say, it's portable, so you can move it around wherever you want. It's got the flip out stand, uh, or it's got a wall mount on the back as well. Your choice. Um, in terms of detail that you've got on there, so you've got, um, you know, it's got temperature uh, sensor on it, it's got humidity sensor, um, it has a NDIR sensor for the CO2. Um, now these are really, really good quality sensors. Got a little bit of detail here. They are, you know, used very much for detecting the levels of you know gas within the uh, the environment so um, you know this is a particularly good choice by uh, switchbot you've also got the date and time on there along with the weather 
as well. You've got to set up your, your local location in the app for that to uh, display that information. It uses Bluetooth LE, so um, you know, really low power if you're using it off the batteries. And it will integrate with your Amazon Alexa, Smart Things, Google Home, um, Siri shortcuts, uh, if this, then that. So lots of integration there. Now, worth pointing out that the, um, the weather and the smart speaker integration need a SwitchBot hub. So if you've already gotten into the SwitchBot ecosystem and you, you will inevitably already have a hub, then um, you know this is this is a nice thing to go and add on to that. Uh, you know if you um, don't have a SwitchBot hub and you want to use the smart speaker functionality, then uh, or to see the weather, then you know it is obviously going to be an additional cost, and we'll come to that later on in the video. So setting up the Meter Pro is a really straightforward process. If you've already got the SwitchBot app installed, you just simply uh, you know, add a device. Uh, it will detect the Meter Pro. Um, you click on the little button on the top and you pair it to the application. Once you've got that all set up, uh, well, there's an absolute ton of um, configuration for the Meter Pro. Um, so, you know, you obviously you can set a, a lot of detail on the screen, kind of like your um, you know your clock details, your temperature details, all that kind of stuff. Really interesting things that you've got. Um, being able to define what you deem to be comfortable. So obviously the display itself will have um, kind of like a, a, a green, amber, red uh, zones on it, which um, you know by default will will be some set parameters that SwitchBot have defined and um, you know you can go and change those so if you are comfortable with the temperature being a bit cooler or a bit hotter then you can go and change that and you know the indicator will will fall into one of those comfort zones likewise um, you know with things like uh, you know co2 and humidity they've all got the indicators that show up there as well um, with all of these you can set alerts as well so you can have notifications on your, uh, your your app you can have um, you know sound alerts as well uh, so you know lots of ways in which you can get um, you know warnings about what your environment is like so one of the really nice things about this is the ability to go and um, you know store a lot of information around the data so the app itself has lots and lots of charts about how you know your temperatures have been your humidity your co2 levels and things like that and you can go and load those all up onto your SwitchBot account and one of the other options within the application is a calibration section and this allows you to define what is the baseline for your environment for your temperature humidity and co2 levels so worthwhile doing that before you kind of start relying upon the information that is displayed they've all got different sets of instructions to go and follow uh, some are a little bit easier than others but um, yeah you know I would probably do that before you actually start using this uh, straight away out of the box so if you want to use the meter pro within home assistant then it will quite happily integrate into that um, you know it will get detected via Bluetooth and uh, the um, switchbot integration and it will um, it will automatically come up there isn't an awful lot of uh, parameters there because there isn't an awful lot really to share uh, so you get your temperature hum um, humidity you get your co2 levels and you get your battery level as well obviously home assistant then is then doing all the charting for you from your history um, you know you can go and set up as i've done here uh, you know if you want to have some gauges where you've got your um, kind of like you know your comfort levels you can define those yourself within home assistant then you can just set some of those up yourself but that's pretty much it to be honest with you so in terms of accuracy of results then when i've got the meter pro set up with uh you know with some of the temperature and humidity sensors so i've just got a little chart here uh kind of like over the last 24 36 hours that i've pulled out of home assistant and um, you know i haven't done any calibration at all on the, uh, the SwitchBot Meter Pro, but as you can see, uh, it's very, very close to one of the other sensors that I'm actually using. 
Um, so I think that's pretty good for an out-of-the-box uh, you know, product. Uh, obviously, if I calibrate that, then hopefully that will get a little bit closer to the product that's already being calibrated. So what are my thoughts of the SwitchBot Meter Pro CO2 monitor? Um, well, genuinely, I think it's a rather nice device. Uh, it's a good size. Um, Construction-wise, it's you know relatively good quality plastic from what I can tell. Uh, the screen is excellent. Uh, it's very, very clear. You know, things are big where they need to be big. Uh, so, you know, kind of like your CO2 level, it's big numbers there on the screen. Um, you know, the temperature, the humidity, they're slightly smaller, but they're not little tiny numbers on the screen. Um, you know, even viewing it from angles, you know, almost kind of like side on, it's still really readable. So, you know, really handy if you're going to stick this somewhere where, um, you know, maybe on a wall or something like that, and you just glance at it as you go past. Um, I think it's really, really clever that they've gone and, you know, done this as being able to be, uh, you know, portable by having the AA battery option or the USB. Uh, so, you know, you choose what way you want to operate it. I think overall, you know, it is more than just a CO2 monitor if you've got a hub with it as well. So, you know, you've got your kind of like your weather station there. Um, you know, you've got, you know, a clock on it as well. You've got a calendar on it, you know, for all intents and purposes. You know, you've got all of that information. It's an all-in-one unit. Um, obviously, you know, you've got integration with Home Assistant as well. So if that is something that you're interested in, you can, you know, do other things with it as well. Um, you know, you can hook this up, obviously, with SwitchBot devices to, you know, control things. You know, maybe you want to control one of their air quality uh, you know, purifiers or something like that. You know, when the levels get too high, you'd set up an automation there. You can do that in Home Assistant as well. You could do that with Home Assistant and another product, uh, you know, stick a fan on or something like that. Um, so lots and lots of things that you can do here to kind of like get the, the most out of it. Um, you know, personally, I think you will benefit the most with the hub uh you know so if you've already got that hub then then that is great so in terms of price then well it's 59 pounds 99 at the moment there's a little bit of a discount running as well um so not too bad a price for just the unit itself if you need the hub because maybe you want the smart speaker integration or you want the kind of like the weather integration side of things then uh, you can pick them both up with uh, I think the hub is like the hub mini and it's just over a hundred pounds obviously then you know if you want other switchbot products um, you you can just add those onto that hub then so um, you know at that price just over a hundred pounds I think that's kind of like middling ground for um, you know this this kind of a quality monitor um, you know without that you know so if you're not interested in that uh, other functionality then you know I think it's a pretty decent price but you let me know your thoughts down below in the comments you know what did you think of this as an air quality monitor uh, you know is this something you would be interested in let me know down below in the comments if you've enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel but as always thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye for now